This is page 12 in your bird book with the blue sticky note, or it says module two. Again, this is page 12 in your bird book with the blue sticky note, or it says module two. In this lesson, um, you, we are reading for comprehension and comprehension is just trying to understand what's going on in the story. In this case, we're reading the story called Why the Poison Dart Frog is So Colorful. So remember, we are learning about frogs and we are, so remember, we are learning about frogs and we will eventually write our own story. We started our story already in class time, but this is gonna help us with order of events or sequence of events. And this is gonna help us write our story the same way in sequence of events. That didn't make no sense. We're gonna be working on page 12 and 13. We're gonna be working on page 12 and 13 in our bird book with the blue sticky note. Please make sure you have your bird book with the blue sticky note. If you do not have a blue sticky note, see if it says module two. If you don't have either, you may write on a blank piece of paper. That is also okay. We are gonna be um, trying to help with our comprehension skills. And that just means that we're gonna try and read and understand what we're reading. We're gonna ask ourselves some reading questions. What we're gonna start with today and finish later on in the week is why the poison dart frog is so colorful. So we are trying to answer the question why the poison dart frog is so colorful. That's what the story that we're gonna read is about. Here's the first paragraph. So this story is broken up into paragraphs. Here's the first paragraph of the story. I will read each paragraph aloud and I will do the first four paragraphs with you. But before we get started, I wanna make sure that we know what questions we're gonna ask in the story. I'm write that at the top. You don't have to write this if you don't want, you do not have to write this. Please write these questions at the top so you will know what you should be asking yourself as you're reading. So who? Who are the main characters? Who are the main characters? I'm gonna get a darker pen. Who? Who are the main characters? What? What is going on or what is happening in the paragraph? Where are they? When is it happening? I'm sorry, this is an R. I know that looks like a V, that's an R. So who, who are the main characters? What, what is happening? Where is it happening? When is it happening? So who, what, where, when? Why is it happening? And how? So these are the questions that I try to answer. And these questions I try to ask myself as I'm reading each paragraph. Now I want you to know, since this is the beginning of the story, we may not answer all these questions and that's okay. Again, we may not answer all these questions and that's okay. So I'm gonna read for paragraph one and I'm gonna take you through my thinking process or through my, my, um, my thinking process. So I'm gonna read paragraph one and I'm gonna walk you through how I ask myself these questions. So when it's your turn, you'll be able to do it, okay? So paragraph one, long, long ago, deep in Africa, a boy named Rana lived by himself in a secret magical cave. On the outside, the cave was dull, rocky, and gray. But inside, the walls of the cave were covered with glittering jewels, rubies, diamonds, and sapphires. I'm gonna read that one more time so we can hear it again. Long, long ago, 
deep in Africa, a boy named Rana lived by himself in a secret magical cave. On the outside, the cave was dull, rocky, and gray. But inside, the walls of the cave were covered with glittering jewels, rubies, diamonds, and sapphires. All right, so as I'm reading, as I'm reading, I hear somebody's name, so Rana, and then I also hear that he lives in a magical cave. And remember, we're trying to answer some of these questions, and I think this paragraph did. This paragraph answered who, so who, it could be a person, it could be an animal, but in this case, it's a person. Who, a boy named Rana. So I'm gonna underline his name. And on the side, I'm gonna write who again, because the paragraph answered that question. And I am going to write his name. Okay, does the paragraph answer the question what? So what is happening or what is going on in this paragraph? Doesn't say anything is going on in this paragraph, so we're gonna keep going. So the next question is where? So where is Rana right now? Does this paragraph answer that question? Where is Rana? It does, it says that he lived by himself in a secret magical cave. So again, I'm gonna underline that part because that answers one of our questions on the side. And then for me, I like to write it out. So I'm gonna write where? I'm gonna, I'm gonna write a secret magical cave. All right, and we're gonna keep it going. The next question that we would like to answer is when. So when did this happen or when did this take place? So we don't know exactly when, but it does say long, long ago. It does say long, long ago. So I'm gonna underline that too, because that's important to our story. Long, long ago. So when, and again, I'm gonna write that down. That may be an important factor later. And something that I missed um, before, it says long, long ago, deep in Africa. So that means that he lives in Africa. Does anybody know where Africa is on the map? Africa. And because that is part of the part of the question where I'm gonna add that to the question. So I answer right beside the question where? Africa, does anybody know where Africa is on the map? If not, that's okay. That's something that we will look at a little bit later on as we continue through our story. Last question, why? Well, we don't know why he lives in the secret cave. We don't know why. We also don't know how. So for now, why and how is not answered in our paragraph. So we're gonna keep going. But before we move on to our next paragraph, I wanna make sure that I understood what this paragraph was talking about. So I'm gonna draw a picture in this box right here. Again, I want to make sure that I understood what this paragraph was talking about. So I'm gonna draw a picture of some of the important details in this box. So I know there's a boy, his name is Rana. So I'm not a good drawer and I don't expect anybody else to be a good drawer, but I want you to try. So here's my boy. I'm gonna put his name on top of him so I can remember what his name is. Okay, and then it says he lives by himself in a secret magical cave. But then it gives us a description of what that cave looks like. On the outside it's kind of dull, rocky and gray. So I don't have a gray color, but I'm gonna try to use like a greenish color. So I'm gonna draw my cave. It says on the outside, the cave was dull, rocky and gray. So kind of ugly, kind of boring. So I'm gonna draw an ugly and boring cave on the outside. All right, so here's my boy and here's our cave. And in the inside, it says the walls of the cave were covered with glittering jewels, rubies, diamonds, and sapphires. Well, I know that rubies are red, so I'm gonna add a little red to my, the inside of my cave. So it's covered, so I'm gonna draw as many as I can. 
Now I know that sapphires are sometimes blue, so I'm gonna add some blue to my cave. I know that diamonds are usually clear or white. I'm gonna use yellow or orange to represent our diamonds. So I believe that I got everything in my picture that represents the paragraph it says that it was a boy named Rena. So here's my boy. It also talks about a secret magical cave. So here's my cave. But then it gives me clues of how it looked. So on the outside, the cave was dull, rocky and gray. So I had to, I use green, but that's okay. But it kind of looks boring on the outside. Then the inside, it was walls covered with glittering jewels. So on the inside, I made sure that I used jewels to represent the inside to make it pretty.